So you're going to polish a car, you wash the car, you clean the car, you rinse and dry the car, then you grab your polisher, then you put on pad and compound and wait, aren't you forgetting something? Hi guys, my name is John from Austrian's technical team and today I'm here to share some tips and tricks on how we can tape better before we polish. Now, for most of you here, you probably already know about the need to tape before we polish. But for those of you who are new to this, the reason why we need to tape the plastics, rubbers and even metal trims before we polish is we want to reduce the chance of staining or even damaging them when we polish. So. Let us begin. First thing first, before we tape, we need to make sure the car is completely dry, especially at the crevices, because usually tape do not stick well on wet surfaces. Next, we'll need some masking tape. As you can see here, there are many different types of masking tapes out there, and you'll need to try a few of them to find what works best for you. In general, we want something that does not leave behind any sticky residue and one that ideally has a thin and low profile so they're not easily pulled up by pads when we polish. Depending on the car, having masking tapes of different widths or even a pre-taped masking film may come in handy. Now, most of you probably already know how to tape, but for those of you who are new to this, let me show you. Basically, one hand will anchor the tape while the other hand will stretch and adjust like so. Then the hand that anchors the tape will move forward to secure it in place. Then we'll repeat, anchor, stretch, secure. Anchor, stretch and secure. Like so. Pretty straightforward. Next, where do we tape on the car? Do we need to tape all of the trims? Well, not necessarily. In general, we only need to tape the trims that are next to the areas that we are going to polish because these trims are likely to be hit by the pads when we polish. For trims that are nowhere near those areas, we don't really have to tape. There's also the question of how much to tape. If let's say I'm going to polish this panel, we definitely need to tape this trim. But how much do we actually tape? A little or a lot? Well, this depends on how we polish. If let's say I know I'm going to polish over the edge, or if I'm using a pad with long fibers, I will tend to tape a bit more. But if let's say I know I'm just going to polish right up until the edge, I can get away with taping a bit less. So, if you really do need to tape more, keep in mind having a wider masking tape or a pre-taped masking film may come in handy. When taping, a simple but useful tip is to press down on the tape, like so. This will ensure the tape sticks more securely on the surface. This is especially important for the ends of the tape because if we do not do this, the ends of the tape might easily get pulled up by the pads when we polish. And this is not something we want. This brings us to our next point, which is not to over tape at the edges. When we tape, we don't want to tape too much, too little. We want to tape just enough to cover the trims. Over taping at the edges may again cause the tape to be easily lifted up during polish. This is also Again, important at the end of the tape. If the end of the tape is too long, we can always fold them up. To further minimize the chances of tape lifting up, we can also tuck them in. Now, what do I mean by tucking tapes in? Well, let me show you. Now I'm gonna tape up this trim. I'm gonna tape a slight bit more and then tuck them in like so. This technique will keep tape edges away from the path the pads during polish. This will significantly reduce the risk of tape edges lifting up. But wait a minute, what's the big deal about tapes lifting up? 
aside from exposing trims and leaving them unprotected, this is why. When pads go through exposed tape, adhesive from the tape will stick onto the paint and get all over the paint. And this will cause us extra time and energy to clean up with an adhesive remover. While most tapes can withstand the spinning pads of doom, but we try not to polish on them too much because this will make them disintegrate slowly, tear more easily, making them harder to remove afterwards. Some cars may have recessed rubber trims near areas that we are going to polish. While they are not directly exposed, it is still a good idea to tape them up because sometimes polish residue can get in between those gaps. If we stretch the tape when taping, they sometimes may not stick properly due to the tension. A simple way to solve this issue is to tear the tape a bit at the point of tension. This will allow them to stick properly and we can add more tape if needed. Good taping techniques can help us work cleaner. Usually at places where there's a bit of a gap, usually on panels next to glass or windscreen, we can cover up the gap with a bit of a tape to keep out dust and polish residue. So, instead of taping it right until here, we'll tape a bit more to cover up the gap, but not so much that we over tape onto the paint. When it comes time to remove the tapes, remember to always peel them off slowly and do not yank them forcefully. Also, instead of removing tapes at a right angle, we should try to remove them at an acute angle and to the side. This way, there's less risk of peeling off paint and trim, especially for older cars. Once we remove all this tape, well, what can we do with it? We can either just throw them away, or we can reuse it as a makeshift detailing block. You never know when they may come in handy. Someday. This is all we have to share for today. Hopefully this video will be helpful to you in your detailing journey. Thank you for watching.